So, time to finish up the harvest of the year. So, first step. Let's see what's happening. Bees are still busily flying in and out. And they're starting to bother me. A lot left in there. So I'm going to divide my leftovers over my other hives. I'll leave these in peace for now. So this is my own experimental design. It's only a regular Dutch brood frame deep. No stacking of boxes. All in a single plane. Put them one behind the other. First winter I've got a hive in there or a colony so let's see what happens. I hope they survive. Up to my other hives, I've got a regular top bar design here and two classic Dutch. So let's see what happens. Let's open it up. That's another feed box on there. It's empty. I think I'll give him some more. And I've got a leftover anyway. I'm not going to preserve it till next year. It's just a plain sugar solution. It's a bit left over, but that feed box is full. Got the lid down. They're busy working in there. And once they smell the feed, they'll come up and consume it. And store away for the winter. No, no, no. Okay, that's all finished for now. Let's see if we can see something a bit. That's, that's the bees flying in and out of the top bar hive. These are a regular Dutch simplex design. You see this one is really really busy. That's good. And these bees are a little less busy. finished feeding these two hives last week so time to take the containers off and put the insulation on for the winter. Remove the lid. Let's see what we see here. It's the feeder, it's a different type of feeder, the big one. With a lot of bees in there because they still smell the tiny bit of feed that's left in the corner. And I, uh, as I haven't brought any veil, I think I'm gonna leave that till tonight to get the feeder off and put the insulation on. Otherwise, they'll have me for lunch. Okay, put it back on. Let's see what's to see in the other hive. This hive I want to move during the winter when the bees are, uh, they're not hibernating but they are balled up in there. As it's the uh, support that's under there that keeps tipping over so that's no good. Let's open her up and see what we, oh. 
another bummer for the beekeeper that isn't well prepared. And bring the veil next time. They're still in there. They're still in the feeder. So, so that's disappointing. I haven't finished the bees up quite yet. This hive is still feeding. This hive is still feeding. And I should have brought my veil and my smoker for those two. Because they are still looking around in the feeder if there's a bit more. So, second attempt, I'm going to finish up the year with, for the bees, give them some smoke to calm them down. And I need to get them all out of the feeding bin, back into their hive. I'm going to swap out the feeding bin for a bit of glass. Let me see if I've got an example here. I'll put in a bit of glass that lets me look into the hive during winter or early spring. See if, the, uh, if they've survived the winter. But now it's time to get them going. Give them just a bit of smoke. Let's we'll see if they'll get back in. I can swap it out, put the insulation on, and I'll be done for the year. I often use a mixture of, water, uh, of smoke and just a plain spray bottle with water to get the bees moving. I really dislike the wet. So they often run back into the hive and that lets me do my job without getting stung. And a bonus to them and to me, of course, most of the times I can work without wearing gloves. That lets me work a bit easier and handle the bees a bit softer. Get the crowbar or the hive tool to slid under there, get it loose, move it. Glass on.
Dan. I've got still some bees left in here. I'll spray them wet. So they won't fly away that much and get them landed on there. So the next hive. So looks like they all went down, nice and quiet. A small spray of water. Again. Use the hive tool. And the feeder comes off. Chase the bees in. They go marching in. nice and tidy and put the glass on okay done let's see There's a few left on there I'll get them onto the uh, flyboard and do the next one so I've brought nice big slabs of Isolation for each hive. You just drop it on top. Fill it quite snugly. Maybe a bit, even a bit too snugly. It like it looks like. It should go on something like the one I did before. Oh, <sighs> refit. The lid, just plain and simple. And I always like to drop a stone on top. Because it wouldn't be the first time a lid has blown away on me. This one's got special features. As you can see, I built the insulation into the lid of the hive and with this one the feeder isn't on top like the others but I'll have to swap out the end board which is plywood for the solid wood one and remove the feeder and then I'm done